Some affairs are beneath your notice. They resolve themselves without your direct touch. Engaging in failing tarnishes your image. Yet heed this. Neglecting minor sparks can birth a raging inferno, endangering your standing. Master the art of discerning when to turn a blind eye to trivial irritants. In this delicate balance lies the essence of true power. Misjudging the situation can lead to your downfall, as ignored problems can grow and get out of control. Therefore, cultivate the wisdom to know when to act and when to maintain strategic silence. Ignore the things you cannot have. Strategy Ignoring things you cannot have is a powerful strategy for maintaining your status and influence. By not giving attention to what's out of reach, you elevate your own power. This approach keeps you focused on attainable goals, conserves your energy, and enhances your psychological well-being. It's a tactic that can be applied in various social dynamics, from personal relationships to professional settings. The strategy is simple but effective. When you encounter something you desire but can't have, you consciously choose to ignore it. This isn't about denial but about making a strategic choice. By not giving your energy or attention to it, you're not allowing it to have power over you. This is a form of self-control that signals to others your ability to prioritize and focus on what truly matters. Ignoring what you can't have has multiple benefits. It keeps you from wasting time and energy on unattainable goals, allowing you to focus on achievable objectives. This boosts your self-esteem and contributes to a more positive mental state. It also prevents you from appearing desperate or needy, which can be detrimental to your social status. Moreover, it creates a sense of mystery and allure around you, making others more attracted to your persona. This strategy can also be a powerful tool in negotiations and power dynamics, as it shows you're not easily swayed or desperate. Analysis Psychologically, humans are wired to want what they can't have. However, by consciously choosing to ignore such desires, you're exercising mental strength. Socially, showing restraint elevates your status because it demonstrates self-control, a trait often associated with leadership and power. Ignoring something also creates scarcity, making you more desirable. This taps into the psychological principle of scarcity, where people value what's less available. Furthermore, by not reacting to provocations or showing interest in what you can't have, you maintain control over the social dynamic, forcing others to play by your rules. Historical Proof 1 Pancho Villa, once a bandit leader, became a folk hero during Mexico's 1910 revolution. He robbed trains to help the poor, led daring missions, and had a way with women. Americans were captivated by his Robin Hood-like charm. But when General Carranza won the revolution, Villa's army disbanded and he returned to banditry, losing public favor. Frustrated, he blamed the United States for his downfall and attacked Columbus, New Mexico, killing 17 Americans. President Woodrow Wilson had admired Villa, but now action was needed. Advisors told Wilson that not retaliating would weaken America's status and power. They also said Wilson needed to show he wasn't a pacifist to maintain his influence. Yielding to the pressure, Wilson sent 10,000 troops to Mexico to capture Villa. Led by General John J. Pershing, this mission was dubbed the Punitive Expedition. It became a media sensation, seen as a test of American might. Armed with advanced weapons and supported by air reconnaissance, the troops scoured northern Mexico. A $50,000 reward was offered for Villa's capture. The Mexican public, once disillusioned by Villa, now saw him as a hero for standing up to the U.S. They fed Pershing false information, keeping Villa one step ahead. By summer, the expedition grew to 123,000 men. They faced harsh conditions and angered locals and the Mexican government. Villa, recovering from a gunshot, watched from a mountain cave as Pershing's troops aimlessly roamed the terrain. As winter approached, the mission became a joke to Americans, who started respecting Villa's cunning psychology and evading a stronger force. In January 1917, Wilson ordered a withdrawal. The retreat was humiliating, with rebel forces chasing the U.S. Army, forcing them to use airplanes for protection. 
the punitive expedition had failed, turning into a retreat that damaged America's status and power. This tale serves as a lesson in the complexities of influence, power, and public perception. Woodrow Wilson launches the punitive expedition to flex America's muscle. He aims to capture Pancho Villa quickly and showcase U.S. power. But the plan backfires. The longer the mission drags on, the more it highlights American incompetence and Villa's savvy. What starts as a minor issue escalates into a global embarrassment. The mismatch between the large American force and the elusive Villa turns the whole affair into a joke. In the end, the U.S. Army retreats from Mexico, humiliated. Instead of diminishing Villa, the expedition boosts his popularity. So, what could Wilson have done differently? He had options. He could have leaned on the Mexican government to capture Villa. Or, since many Mexicans were already tired of Villa, he could have collaborated with them on a smaller, more focused operation. He could have set a trap on the U.S. side, waiting for Villa's next move. Or he could have simply ignored Villa, letting the Mexicans handle him in due course. Here's the takeaway on power and influence, you decide what bothers you. You can choose to ignore minor annoyances, deeming them trivial and not worth your attention. This is a powerful psychological stance. If you don't react, you can't get pulled into a pointless struggle. Your status remains intact. If ignoring isn't an option, as was the case with Villa, then act discreetly to remove the irritant. Don't give it the spotlight it craves. In the realm of social dynamics and psychology, knowing when to engage and when to pull back is crucial. Wasting time on trivial matters dilutes your power. Learn the art of strategic disdain. Turn your back on what can't harm you in the long run. This is how you wield influence and maintain your status effectively. Historical Proof 2 In 1527, King Henry VIII of England wants to end his marriage with Catherine of Aragon. She hasn't given him a male heir, and Henry believes their union is cursed. Catherine was first married to Henry's late brother, Arthur. Henry thinks their marriage is incestuous, as Catherine can't prove her virginity during her first marriage. Pope Clement VII, however, supports their union. But Catherine enters menopause without producing a son, confirming Henry's suspicions. He also falls for Anne Boleyn, a younger woman who could give him a legitimate son. Henry needs the Vatican's approval to annul his marriage, but Pope Clement won't grant it. Undeterred, Henry enacts his own strategy. He distances himself from Catherine, referring to her as Princess Dowager of Wales, and banishes her from court in 1531. The Pope threatens excommunication, but Henry ignores it. In 1533, he marries in Bolin and breaks away from the Roman Catholic Church, establishing the Church of England with himself as its head. The Pope's threats become meaningless. Catherine feels the brunt of Henry's calculated disdain. Her appeals go unheard, and she becomes isolated and frustrated. She eventually dies in 1536 from a heart tumor. Henry's actions demonstrate a masterful use of power and influence. He disregards traditional authority, sidesteps social norms, and manipulates psychology to achieve his goals. In the realm of social dynamics and power, Henry's story serves as a lesson. When you're faced with obstacles, whether they're institutional like the Vatican or personal like Catherine, strategic disdain can be a powerful tool. Knowing when to engage and when to pull back is crucial for maintaining status and influence. Henry shows us that sometimes the most powerful move is to simply ignore what you cannot change and focus on what you can control. This is how you wield power effectively, and it's a lesson in the psychology of influence that stands the test of time. When you engage with someone, you enter a dance of mutual influence. This dynamic can erode your initiative. By even acknowledging others, you become susceptible to their sway. Take Henry VIII, for example. If he had engaged in debates with his strong-willed wife Catherine, he would have been pulled into a cycle of endless arguments, weakening his resolve. Similarly, if he had tried to negotiate with Pope Clement, he would have been trapped in the Pope's time-stalling tactics. Henry chooses a different path, strategic disdain. By ignoring others, you essentially erase them. 
This leaves them unsettled and powerless, as they have no interaction to leverage against you. This approach is the offensive side of wielding power and influence. Using contempt as your card allows you to set the terms of engagement. The conflict unfolds on your turf, under your rules. This is the epitome of a power pose. You become the king of your domain, choosing what deserves your attention. The psychology behind this is compelling. People often act to capture your attention, when you withhold it, they're left stumbling in frustration. In the realm of social dynamics and psychology, this tactic is a masterclass in how to maintain status and exert influence. It's not just about engaging effectively, it's also about knowing when to disengage, to keep the power in your hands. This is how you navigate the complexities of social influence and come out on top. Counter Strategy Wielding the card of contempt requires finesse and discernment. While many minor issues resolve themselves when ignored, some can escalate into significant challenges. Overlooking someone you deem unimportant can backfire, turning them into a formidable and vengeful rival. Take the example of Renaissance Italy's princes who initially dismissed Cesare Borgia, a young general. By the time they took notice, he had become a force to be reckoned with, seizing large parts of Italy. So, while you may display public disdain, it's crucial to keep a private eye on the situation. Monitor its status to ensure it doesn't grow into an unmanageable problem. Develop the skill to identify issues when they're still small, taking action before they become insurmountable. Learn to differentiate between what's potentially disastrous and what's merely a passing annoyance. But remember, never take your eyes off it entirely. As long as the issue exists, it has the potential to reignite. In the realm of social dynamics, psychology, and power, this approach is a masterclass in how to maintain your status and influence. It's not just about knowing when to engage, but also when to strategically disengage while still keeping a watchful eye. This is how you navigate the complexities of social influence and power, ensuring you stay ahead of the game. Thoughts Ignoring what you can't have is a potent strategy rooted in psychological principles and social dynamics. It conserves your energy, elevates your status, and can even turn the tables in power dynamics. However, it's crucial to apply this strategy judiciously, keeping an eye on the situation to ensure it doesn't backfire. By mastering the art of ignoring, you position yourself as a powerful, influential figure in any social setting. If you enjoyed or learned something from this video, do me a favor and give it a like, share it to your friends, and hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell so you won't miss our next uploads. See you on the next video.